Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going over my Bitcoin Elliott Wave count and even though we are dropping heavily right now I'm going to be explaining to you why I am in a long position and I am looking for further upside on the Bitcoin chart. I will be going over how I am currently trading this based off of my Elliott Wave count and what the targets and invalidations are from this trade. So I hope that you really really enjoy this video and uh, let's get into the analysis. So to begin here, ladies and gentlemen, I want to be going through the Elliott Wave count that I am currently trading off right now. Uh, so to, be, to get us up to speed, if you were watching yesterday's live stream, you know that we had that resistance box and it was between our resistance trend line, which we can load up here, and between the 38,000 point of control. So we had this as our resistance box. So we're saying that, you know, it's a very silly idea to long in this. You've got to wait for the retracement. That's exactly what I've done. I decided to long the retracement that we got off of the rejection of that resistance box. So we did make our way down and I actually took mine off of 36,900. What we had here was a nice then support region. If you've been following the channel for the last few weeks, you'll know that we have had this key daily level at 36,661. That's the level that we've had on our charts for the past few weeks. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen, we come back and we back tested that level once again, very perfectly. OK, so we come down, we basically back test then our key support and we get a bounce to the upside. Um, this is based off of an Elliott wave count. OK, and I do understand that for some people, Elliott waves are going to be pretty advanced. So although I'm trading this off of an Elliott wave count, I will give a simplified version as well. For the people that just want to keep it simple, they just want the levels, I will give a simplified version. But basically, the Elliott wave count is really what helped me come to the conclusion of, okay, I really want to buy this dip. And even though we're dropping right now, I just want to maintain in my longs, looking for these higher prices, essentially just trading my plan. Okay. So this is this is the chart I was giving. This is inside of the Champions Group. So at, at basically midnight last night, I came up with this Elliott Wave Camp where we were basically going to continue to look for a drop down on B. So obviously at the daily open, we got a little bit of a pump, but I was still under the perspective that we can still drop down to basically hit the B before we come up for the C. And this has been unedited, no changes at all. I have not moved around any of the pivots. As you can see from the prediction that would come down to test the daily, that's exactly what happens okay so as you can see here if we just do the same time frame chart this is the power of elliott waves this is really 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 is the power of of elliott waves you can see here from that prediction of recognizing we're likely to come down for the b before up for the c this is exactly what happens here exactly as predicted we come down for the b to bounce off the daily before making our way in my opinion up for this c level which is going to be a, around thirty eight thousand. Obviously, the top high there, 38,500. But for this, now we have our new target box, really. So for me, this is a target because I'm currently in a long, looking for around this region as my target. Okay, so that's 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 pretty simple in regards to why I was longing here. I was longing because I viewed this as a bullish retracement for further upside. And now I have a target box up here where really simply I'm going to look to take profit on my long positions. That is based off the Elliott Wave count that I gave to the champions. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want those urgent updates that I will sometimes give for absolute free, then I gave this over on Instagram last night. Again, nine hours ago, I was, you might have to tilt your head to watch it on this, but I was giving that Elliott Wave count for absolute free over on Instagram. So if you're not already, you should follow right now on Instagram because you would have seen exactly what I was looking for. The drop down on B before up for the C on Bitcoin. Again, that was given for free nine hours ago on Instagram. So if you're not already following, Go over, check out the Chart Champions Instagram. That's the profile pic. Give us a follow and you'll be aware of those updates, urgent updates live in the time of exactly how I am trading. So with that said, it really does look like we can come up for this C wave here. Okay, we have like a, a region of where this could potentially reject. And this is anywhere between 38,000 and in my opinion, coming up to around 38,000. Yeah, about 38,600-ish, about a $600 region. And... You might be wondering, Daniel, when price comes up into your target box, are you going to take a short position? Will you fully close your long and go into a short? OK, that's what probably people are wondering. <laughs> well, the, fir the first thing I'd say is I like to base my trades off of reactions. So although I am under the perspective that we can come up for this C wave before heading down for five waves to the downside, which would essentially look something like this. 
okay we'd, we'd make our way back down i am going to base that off of the reaction so if we come up to c okay so the way elliot waves work again i don't want to make it too complex because i just don't want to but the way Elliott waves work is the, the this this could essentially be a, an ABC zigzag, and this could be one two, and we're actually going up for a three four five, or this could still be a, a three three five for a flat. The only way to decipher the difference is when we breach thirty eight thousand. Do we get you know does it continue? You know, does it actually get a really strong impulse? In that case, if we get a really strong impulse, this could be a one two three underway, and we make our way just simply keep on going up, or do we actually get a weak break? And then we start to get overlap, in which case we're either going to get a diagonal, which is again just a short position ultimately, or we we literally just do get a C and we're coming down for the five waves. So so the answer is really simply in in this YouTube video right now, I cannot say what I'm going to be doing when price hits this region because really simply I need to have the reaction. And without seeing the volume, without seeing the open interest, without seeing the delta. I, I cannot tell you what I'm going to do. So I, I need this information basically to make an informed decision. So, you know, if, if you want that information live in the time, how I'll trade it based off that reaction, obviously that's the service that we offer over at chartchampions.com where I will give an update to the champions group. But nevertheless, um, yeah, that, that's basically how I'll be basing my trade. So I won't close all of my long positions straight away, but if we get a bearish reaction and a rejection, I will close my long and go into a short but really simply to keep it simple currently i'm only in a long i'm not worried about this drop do it as a long opportunity uh we got obviously that key resistance which is 38,000 to really 38,600 dollars obviously got that weekly there at 38,221 we breach above it we got that daily nine thirty-nine thousand one hundred forty-four, 139,144 and obviously our key daily level from last night is still the same 36,661 so i think ultimately the trade here on bitcoin is not overly difficult in my opinion, it's not overly difficult here. Uh, I have a clear plan. I have an invalidation of that plan, e.g. where I have a stop loss, and I have a target. So really simply, you have the three ingredients needed to make money trading. You have an entry, you have an invalidation, and you have a target. There's nothing else that you need to, to worry about now. Price will come and hit you out and stop you, or price will come up your, to your target and you'll make some money. You know, there's no need to get emotional, there's no need to get worried, you know, you got a you got a plan. You stick to the plan. You know, it's it's pretty nice. It is it's pretty nice way of trading. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pretty content with how this is going. To be honest with you, uh, what I will say is a few di few different things of tips for you in terms of trading. My first tip is that I think at the moment people are likely going to try and overextend themselves in the cryptocurrency market. What I mean by this is, I feel that. There's a lot of random altcoins popping and people fall into the same trap again and again and again where they want to go and buy 50 different altcoins. And it's like, in my professional opinion, you don't need to be trading 50 different altcoins because if you over, you know, if you spread yourself out so thinly, well, first, you don't have much capital in any one coin to begin with. And secondly, it's just impossible to effectively do an analysis on 50 different alts. So what I personally do, and what I say to the champ is, is, is fo primarily focus on Bitcoin. At the end of the day, you don't need to be trading all these altcoins. All you need is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is so, so technical. Like the, the levels, how many times have I shown you where levels get respected to the absolute dollar? Obviously on that B to the dollar, we got the rejection. <laughs> and then we came down to the daily yesterday to the dollar. You know, when you see this, you, you don't need anything else. If you know how to trade, Bitcoin is literally all you need. Um you know, if you want to add in some alts, what I would say is instead of going for 50 different altcoins, you know, add in Ethereum. You know, Ethereum is another really nice trading altcoin. You know, these are the ones that I trade, but Ethereum, Litecoin, Link, Tezos, EOS. You know, I've got a, a handful of alts and I can trade them really effectively and well because I'm not spreading myself out looking at 100 different alts. But I have a select few that I want to trade. That way I can stay on top of them. I can stay alerted to the moves. I'm not going to be missing moves because I can monitor these all the time. And I'm going to be recognizing easily when to get in and when to get out. So that's one tip. Again, no financial advice. I'm not going to tell you to do anything with your money. You've got to make that decision yourself. But from my opinion, and I guess you're here for my opinions, I would say... Do not fall into the trap that many, many, many newer traders do. And that's trying to buy loads of different altcoins. Okay. You don't need loads of altcoins. 
you really don't um you know you just at the end of the day in my opinion you all you need is bitcoin there's so much money to be made on bitcoin it's absolutely unreal um but yeah that's my analysis here a few different things that i'll end with to wrap up the video i'll say if this video gets let's say 1500 likes we'll do another live stream for you tonight so if you want to see us live stream tonight well i guess we'll probably go through ethereum and we'll probably go through big well definitely go through bitcoin you can give a like to this video let's get 1500 we will do another live stream for you tonight so let's see if you want another live stream secondly i'll make you aware that once again if you want to join the trading competition that we are hosting all you need to do is join our discord the links will be in the description below go across to the uh registration page obviously on this registration page we've now got 95 people join we want to try and get this up to the two bitcoin prize pool that basically means we're going to be giving away seventy thousand dollars where the first pl first place will be winning twenty two thousand dollars top ten ten thousand dollars each sorry one thousand dollars each <laughs> be nice to give away ten thousand dollars each. but yeah top 10 prizes for the top 10 this is the champions league uh absolutely free to enter you just got to meet the registration requirements uh but yeah all the rules will be in the link i'll leave this in the, the description down below as well but if you haven't already go over and sign up for this is you know pretty cool competition that we're doing uh where yeah we're going to be giving away some bitcoins so if you're interested in that i'll leave that in the description down below too look at this love, love reaction this is why you don't get scared this is what i was literally writing to the champions team earlier this for me is a buy opportunity this for me is literally a buy opportunity because people are going to be scared of this and i think it's going to be going back up again and, and we, we are <laughs> so yeah summary i'm in a long i'm expecting higher will i switch into a short here possibly it depends off the reaction that i get I'll be monitoring that reaction. Look at the volume and look at the delta. Um, but until then, currently long. We'll see how the C goes. If we get that bearish reaction, then we can look for the five waves to the downside. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll upload this straight away. And thank you ever so much. Hope, for, hope this was helpful and goodbye. Cheers.